Hi everyone, welcome to MSTR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we're going to make salt dough. For your salt dough, you'll need a bowl, something to mix with, I have a spoon here, some flour, some salt, some water, a measuring cup, you can use whatever size you have. I have a fourth of a cup because I'm not going to make a lot of salt dough, just a little, but you can use a bigger one if your grown-up says it's okay. And if you would like to make your salt dough colored, you can grab some food coloring too. Pause the video here so that you can go and grab all of the things that you need. Now that you've had a chance to grab everything that you need, I'm going to move the things out of the way. Also, I'm going to put the recipe right here so we can follow along. So our salt dough will be one part salt, one part flour, and half a part water. And if you'd like to make yours colored, you can add a little bit of food coloring. For my one part, I'm going to be using this fourth of a cup, but you can use whatever size you have and your grown-up says it's okay to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is get one part salt. So that means I'm going to take my salt and fill up my fourth of a cup measure. Once I've filled it up, I'll dump it in the bowl. The next thing I'll do is get my flour. I'm going to scoop the same amount of flour as salt. So one fourth cup salt and one fourth cup flour. The last thing I need is half a part water. So instead of filling my whole measuring cup with water, I'll only fill it halfway. I'll dump in my water. And I think I'd like to use food coloring to color mine. Hopefully you can see it better that way too. I think I'll make mine a reddish pink. So I'll put in just a couple drops. I can always add more later if I want it to be darker. The next thing I'll do is take my spoon and begin mixing. With salt dough, if your dough is too wet, you can add in more flour. If it's too dry and crumbly and isn't sticking together well enough, you can add in more water. It kind of depends on how humid your house is for the day. What you want is a dough that's kind of like Play-Doh. It should all stick together, but not be super sticky on your hands. Once I get it mixed in a little bit, I'll use my hands to mix it the rest of the way. My dough is feeling a little bit too dry, so I'm going to add a tiny bit more water to help it come together better. Once you've got the right combination of water, salt, and flour, and food coloring if you want, things should all be able to come out of the bowl. If there's a little bit left, that's okay. Mine has come together pretty well. The more I mix it, the more it will be one color. Right now it's a little bit marbled. You can see some areas that are lighter and some that are darker. But do you see how it's not sticking to my hands? That's what you want, but it's all in one ball, not crumbly. So your salt dough, what you can do with it now is play with it just like Play-Doh. You can form it into shapes that you like. 
So here's a heart, or you could make animals or anything else that you can imagine. Have fun playing with your salt dough and feel free to either leave it out and let it dry. If you do that, it will become hard and you can keep your shape. If you do not leave it out, put it inside of a container that's airtight, like a plastic bag or a Tupperware. That way you can play with it for a bit longer. Just remember, it is made out of salt and flour, so you'll only be able to play with it for a few days to a week before it might start getting a little gross and you'll have to throw it out and make a new batch. I hope you enjoyed this episode of MSCR Makes. Bye!